So I completely understand the need for the the country to pull together in these uncertain and unprecedented times. But I am very worried about members of my family, particularly my my brother Ken, who uh, who's become radicalised. They, they were given out like uh, free daily mails uh, last week, and he's been kind of reading these, and I've noticed a kind of marked change in his behaviour. And I phone him up and I go, Ken, how you doing? And he's like, Oh yes, well I'm on the front line. Oh yes, front line every day I am and I'm like what sort of front line can you possibly be on Ken you're 36 you work from home as an accountant in Penge oh yes well I will fight them on my laptop yes I will fight them uh, via Skype uh, I will fight them with a strongly worded email I'm not sure who they are but they sure as mustard not us and it's time that we all just uh, knuckle drags no that's not right um, yes uh, knuckled under no that's not right either I know it involves knuckles of some description oh, knuckle down yes the good old fashioned blighty spirit and good hard work we'll fight them on the fields no we won't we don't pick our own fruit we can't be bothered well brush that one under the carpet how are you nigel i'm concerned about you ken very very concerned about you uh, ken I, I, I need to tell you this but uh, you know the daily mail is often viewed as a gateway newspaper to harder rags like the sun and the daily express well nigel i think you're just talking down the country blah, 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 blah. i put the phone down i come back like five minutes later he's still going on his own blah, 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 blah. my wife goes nigel how's your brother i go he's still making livestock noises still making livestock noises